Testimony continued today in the retrial of a local man accused of killing four people in Palm Springs in 2019. The first trial for Jose Larin Garcia ended in a deadlock jury earlier this year. News Channel 3's Jake Gracia covered the first trial, and he's now following the retrial every step of the way at the courthouse in Indio. Today, defense testimony continued with the man Jose Laren Garcia's attorneys say actually committed those murders. He was back on the stand. Also on the stand, one of the victim's girlfriends with what Facebook messages she showed to police reveal about the moments just before the murders. For a second day in a row, the jury in the Palm Springs quadruple murder trial heard from John Olvera, the man the defense argues is responsible for killing four people the night of February 3rd, 2019. They say Olvera committed the murders, while defendant Jose Laren Garcia is an innocent victim. Olvera testified under oath Tuesday he was not in the middle seat of this crashed Toyota Corolla with some of the victims in Laren Garcia, saying he had no involvement whatsoever in the four murders. The defense points to Facebook posts and Instagram direct messages that appear to show Olvera taking credit for the murders. Some of those posts, Olvera said, were song lyrics by popular rapper NBA Youngboy, whose music focuses on drugs and violence. But some messages sent from his Instagram account, he says, didn't come from him, though he did lose a cell phone logged into the account in an altercation with Jose Laren Garcia, in which he saw Laren Garcia with a gun. Also on the stand was Teresa Acosta, Carlos Campos Rivera's girlfriend. She showed police Facebook messages Carlos sent the night of the murders regarding the fentanyl drug deal that's at the heart of these murders. Carlos and Jacob messaged back and forth minutes before the shootings, negotiating the price of a blue round fentanyl pill. At 11.34 p.m., Jacob said here. Carlos said where? Gate? Jacob says going. I'm in Juan's car. Acosta said Carlos never returned, and she learned from news reports the next day about the killings. Jake Gracia, News Channel 3, Indio.